Abraham Lincoln was the 16th President of the United States, serving from March 1861 until his assassination in April 1865. He is best known for leading the country during the American Civil War and working towards the abolition of slavery, primarily through his Emancipation Proclamation of 1863 and promoting the passage of the 13th Amendment to the Constitution, which officially abolished slavery in the United States. Lincoln is remembered as a key figure in American history, symbolizing the preservation of the Union and the principles of human equality and democracy. His leadership during one of the country's most tumultuous periods has left a lasting impact on the nation and the world. Abraham Lincoln was born on February 12, 1809 in the Hardin County, Kentucky, which is now part of LaRue County, and grew up in the frontier regions of the United States. But his family moved to Indiana when he was seven years old. The Lincolns settled in southern Indiana, where Abraham spent most of his youth in a place called Little Pigeon Creek Community near present-day Spencer County. Abraham Lincoln's formal education was limited. He only spent about a year's worth of time in formal schooling during his entire life. His early education was informal and brief, largely self-directed, and supplemented by books he could get his hands on. Lincoln was known to be an avid reader and a self-taught individual, with a keen interest in learning and self-improvement. Despite his limited formal education, Lincoln was a voracious reader and was largely self-taught in subjects such as law, history, and literature. He was known for his sharp intellect, love of learning, and strong work ethic, all of which contributed to his success as a lawyer and politician. Lincoln's commitment to continuous self-improvement, appetite for reading, and his dedication to learning played a significant role in shaping his character and leadership style. Abraham Lincoln did not attend high school because during his time, Formal education was limited, and opportunities for schooling were scarce, especially on the frontier where Lincoln grew up. Instead, Lincoln's education was primarily self-directed and informal. He attended local schools for brief periods as a child, but his total formal education only amounted to about a year's worth of schooling. Lincoln's lack of formal education did not hinder his success, instead, he focused on self-study and lifelong learning becoming a self-taught individual with a sharp intellect and deep knowledge in various subjects. Abraham Lincoln's parents were Thomas Lincoln and Nancy Hanks Lincoln. Thomas Lincoln was a farmer and carpenter, and Nancy Hanks Lincoln was known for her kindness and compassion. Unfortunately, Lincoln's mother, Nancy, died when he was only nine years old. Thomas Lincoln remarried a year later to Sarah Bush Johnston, who became a loving stepmother to Abraham. Abraham Lincoln had a complex relationship with his father, Thomas, who was described as hard-working but not very successful financially. Despite their differences, Abraham Lincoln credited his father with instilling in him a strong work ethic and a sense of fairness and justice. Abraham Lincoln's family background, with its mix of hardship, loss, and simple living, played a significant role in shaping his character and values. In 1830, the Lincoln family moved again, this time to central Illinois, settling near Decatur. Lincoln eventually made his way to New Salem, Illinois, where he lived for several years before moving to Springfield in 1837. These formative years in the frontier regions of Kentucky, Indiana, and Illinois played a significant role in shaping Lincoln's character and life. Abraham Lincoln married Mary Todd Lincoln on November 4, 1842. They had four children together. Robert Todd Lincoln, Edward Baker Lincoln, William Wallace Lincoln, and Thomas Tad Lincoln. However, only Robert Todd Lincoln survived into adulthood. Abraham Lincoln's family life was marked by tragedy and loss. His mother died when he was young, and he also lost two of his sons, Edward and William, to illness at young ages. The death of his son Willie during his presidency had a profound impact on Lincoln and his wife. Abraham Lincoln's relationship with his wife, Mary Todd Lincoln, was complex. While there was undoubtedly affection between them, their marriage faced significant challenges, including personal and political pressures. Mary Todd Lincoln struggled with personal losses and mental health issues, which took a toll on their relationship. Despite the difficulties he faced in his personal life, 
Abraham Lincoln was devoted to his family and was known for his kindness, humor, and love for his children. His family life, marked by both joy and sorrow, was an important aspect of his identity and influenced his beliefs and decisions as a leader. Abraham Lincoln's interest in politics began to emerge in his 20s when he moved to New Salem, Illinois. While living there, he worked various jobs, including as a store clerk, postmaster, surveyor, and militia captain. It was during this time that he began to show a keen interest in public speaking and debate. In New Salem, Lincoln also ran for the Illinois General Assembly but was unsuccessful in his first attempt. Lincoln's career in politics truly began to take shape in the 1830s, when he was elected to the Illinois State Legislature, serving several terms. He later became a lawyer and a prominent figure in the legal and political circles of Illinois. In 1846, he was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives, where he served for one term. Abraham Lincoln's career in politics continued to evolve, leading him to the presidency in 1860. His journey from a self-educated young man in rural Illinois to the highest office in the land is a testament to his ambition, determination, and political acumen. Abraham Lincoln won the presidential election in 1860 as the candidate of the newly formed Republican Party. His election was significant because it prompted several southern states to secede from the Union in protest, leading to the outbreak of the American Civil War. Lincoln assumed the presidency on March 4, 1861, facing the immense challenge of preserving the Union and navigating the country through the bloody conflict of the Civil War. During his presidency, Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863, declaring all slaves in Confederate-held territory to be free. He also worked towards the passage of the 13th Amendment to the Constitution, which formally abolished slavery in the United States. Despite facing significant opposition and criticism, Lincoln was re-elected for a second term in 1864. Tragically, he was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth on April 14, 1865, just days after the Confederate surrender at Appomattox Courthouse, effectively ending the Civil War. Abraham Lincoln's presidency was marked by both crisis and historic achievements, and his leadership during one of the nation's darkest periods continues to be remembered and revered in American history. Abraham Lincoln played a pivotal role in the emancipation of slavery in the United States through several key steps during his presidency. Emancipation Proclamation In 1863, Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, which declared all slaves in Confederate-held territory to be free. While the Emancipation Proclamation did not immediately free all slaves in the country, it was a significant symbolic and strategic move that shifted the focus of the Civil War to include the abolition of slavery as a central goal. Push for the 13th Amendment Lincoln actively lobbied for the passage of the 13th Amendment to the Constitution, which formally abolished slavery in the United States. The amendment was passed by Congress in January 1865 and ratified later that year. Re-election and political maneuvering Lincoln's re-election in 1864 ensured that his policies regarding slavery and the Union would continue. By securing a second term, Lincoln was able to further solidify his commitment to emancipation and the preservation of the Union. Historical Legacy Lincoln's leadership and determination to address the issue of slavery as a moral and political imperative were instrumental in bringing about the end of slavery in the United States. His actions during the Civil War and his advocacy for the abolition of slavery have cemented his reputation as the president who played a central role in the emancipation of millions of enslaved individuals. Abraham Lincoln did not personally fight in the Civil War, but served as the commander-in-chief of the Union forces. He played a pivotal role in the Union's victory in several key ways, military strategy. Lincoln, working closely with his generals, played a significant role in devising military strategies and making crucial decisions throughout the war. He worked to coordinate Union military efforts, plan campaigns, and prioritize objectives to weaken the Confederate forces. Leadership and Resolve Lincoln's leadership during the Civil War was marked by his unwavering resolve to preserve the Union and his commitment to the principles of freedom and democracy. His steady leadership in the face of immense challenges, 
and his ability to inspire and unify the nation were crucial in keeping the Union together during the conflict. Emancipation Proclamation As mentioned earlier, Lincoln's issuance of the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863 not only changed the focus of the Civil War, but also had profound effects on the Union war effort. It undermined the Confederacy's economic and social foundations by freeing slaves in rebel-held territory and rallying support for the Union cause. Political Maneuvering Lincoln's political acumen and ability to navigate the complexities of wartime politics were instrumental in securing support both within his own government and among the population. His strategic alliances and his handling of difficult situations helped maintain unity and momentum for the Union cause. Ultimately, the Union's victory in the Civil War was the result of a combination of military strategies, leadership, determination, and the collective efforts of many individuals, with Abraham Lincoln playing a central role in guiding the nation through one of its most challenging periods. Abraham Lincoln survived an earlier assassination attempt on August 11, 1864, when an armed Confederate sympathizer named John Wilkes Booth attempted to assassinate him. The incident occurred at the soldier's home in Washington, D.C., where Lincoln and his family often stayed to escape the summer heat of the White House. As Lincoln and his guest, Major Henry Rathbone, were returning to the cottage from a late-night visit to the soldier's home, Booth emerged from the darkness and fired a single shot at Lincoln. The bullet struck Lincoln's stovepipe hat which he was holding, and he was left unharmed. Booth's assassination attempt was foiled by Major Rathbone, who grappled with Booth, causing Booth to drop his weapon and flee. The incident left Lincoln shaken but physically unharmed. Despite this close call, tragically, Lincoln was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth on April 14, 1865, just a few days after the Confederate surrender at Appomattox Courthouse, bringing an end to the Civil War. Lincoln was a skilled and eloquent writer known for his powerful speeches, letters, and addresses. Some of his most famous writings include Gettysburg Address Lincoln delivered this iconic speech on November 19, 1863, at the dedication of the Soldiers National Cemetery in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. In just a few minutes, Lincoln beautifully expressed the principles of human equality, democracy, and national unity. Emancipation Proclamation While not a book, the Emancipation Proclamation was a significant document issued by Lincoln as an executive order during the Civil War. It declared all slaves in Confederate-held territory to be free, marking a critical turning point in the abolition of slavery. Second Inaugural Address Delivered on March 4, 1865, this address is known for its mercy, charity, and healing sentiment, reflecting on the causes and consequences of the Civil War. While Lincoln did not write books in the traditional sense, his speeches and writings have had a profound impact on American history and continue to be studied and celebrated for their eloquence, insight, and enduring relevance. Abraham Lincoln, as the 16th President of the United States, did not receive awards in the traditional sense, as we think of awards today. However, he is widely regarded as one of the greatest American presidents and has been posthumously honored and recognized in various ways. Some of the notable recognitions and honors attributed to Abraham Lincoln include Lincoln Memorial The Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. is a prominent monument dedicated to Abraham Lincoln. It features a larger-than-life statue of Lincoln seated in contemplation, surrounded by inscriptions of his speeches, including the Gettysburg Address and his second inaugural address. Mount Rushmore Lincoln is one of the four presidents commemorated on Mount Rushmore, a famous sculpture carved into the granite face of the mountain in South Dakota. Honorary Names Numerous towns, cities, counties, schools, and buildings across the United States bear Abraham Lincoln's name in honor of his legacy and contributions to the country. Statues and Monuments Statues and monuments of Abraham Lincoln can be found throughout the United States, symbolizing his enduring impact on American history and society. While Abraham Lincoln did not receive awards during his lifetime, his legacy as a leader, his contributions to the preservation of the Union, his efforts to abolish slavery, and his enduring commitment to democracy, 
have earned him a place of honor in the hearts and minds of the American people and people around the world. Abraham Lincoln's net worth was approximately less than $1 million. But it is difficult to accurately determine Abraham Lincoln's net worth in modern terms, because the concept of personal wealth and net worth in the 19th century differed significantly from today's understanding. Lincoln came from humble beginnings and worked various jobs throughout his life, including as a lawyer and politician, but he did not amass considerable personal wealth. At the time of his presidency and before his death on April 15, 1865, Lincoln's financial situation was modest compared to many other political figures. His primary focus was on his public service and the preservation of the Union during the Civil War, rather than personal financial gain. While it is known that Lincoln faced financial struggles at times and was not considered wealthy, specific details about his net worth in today's terms are largely speculative and not easily quantifiable. Abraham Lincoln lived in the 19th century, long before automobiles were invented, and became common modes of transportation. As a result, Lincoln did not own or drive cars during his lifetime. Instead, he used horse-drawn carriages or other forms of transportation available, at that time for travel and commuting. While there is a vehicle manufacturer named Lincoln today, it was named after Abraham Lincoln and not directly related to his personal use of cars. Abraham Lincoln's transportation would have mainly consisted of horses, carriages, and trains, as was common in the 1800s. Abraham Lincoln lived in several residences throughout his life, primarily in the states of Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois, and Washington, D.C. Some of the significant residences associated with Abraham Lincoln include Birthplace in Kentucky Abraham Lincoln was born on February 12, 1809, in a one-room log cabin on the Sinking Spring Farm in present-day Hodgenville, Kentucky. The site is now part of the Abraham Lincoln Birthplace National Historical Park. Indiana Homes After his family moved to Indiana in 1816, Lincoln lived in a log cabin near Little Pigeon Creek in Spencer County. The Lincoln Boyhood National Memorial commemorates this period of his life. New Salem, Illinois In the 1830s, Lincoln lived in the frontier village of New Salem, Illinois, where he worked various jobs, studied law, and began his political career. Some of the buildings from New Salem have been preserved as a historic site. Springfield, Illinois Lincoln made Springfield his home for much of his adult life. It was in Springfield that he practiced law, served in the Illinois State Legislature, and established himself as a prominent figure in Illinois politics. The Lincoln Home National Historic Site in Springfield preserves the family home where Lincoln lived from 1844 to 1861. White House in Washington, D.C. During his presidency, Abraham Lincoln resided in the White House, the official residence of the President of the United States. Lincoln and his family lived in the White House from 1861 until his assassination in 1865. These residences played a significant role in shaping Abraham Lincoln's personal and political life, reflecting the various stages of his journey from a humble upbringing to becoming one of America's most revered presidents. Abraham Lincoln demonstrated compassion and a commitment to helping others throughout his life, both personally and through his actions as a public figure. Some examples of Lincoln's charity endeavors and acts of kindness include Legal Aid As a lawyer, Lincoln was known for offering legal assistance to those who could not afford representation. He often took on cases pro bono, without charge, or at reduced fees, to help individuals in need access the legal system. Pardons and Mercy Lincoln showed leniency and compassion in his use of presidential pardons, particularly during the Civil War. He was known to pardon soldiers for desertion and individuals accused of crimes, emphasizing mercy and second chances. Visits to Hospitals During the Civil War, Lincoln would frequently visit wounded soldiers in hospitals, offering comfort and support to the wounded and their families. His presence and words of encouragement brought solace to many during a difficult time. Support for Orphanages Lincoln and his wife, Mary Todd Lincoln, were known for supporting charitable organizations that helped orphaned and disadvantaged children. They made donations to orphanages and institutions for the welfare of children. 
advocacy for freed slaves. Lincoln's efforts to abolish slavery and his support for the emancipation of enslaved individuals can also be seen as charitable endeavors aimed at improving the lives of those who had been oppressed and marginalized. While Lincoln's charity endeavors may not have been as overt as modern philanthropic efforts, his actions and policies reflected a deep sense of empathy, fairness, and a commitment to social justice that continue to inspire people today. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave comment and share this video. And please turn on your notification in order to see more of my videos. Thank you for watching.